Hi, welcome back to A Cup of Tea with Shauna Marie. We've had a lot of snow this weekend, and I do plan to share some of that with you. Some of the snow. I can't share all the snow because I just couldn't catch it all on camera, but okay, that was dumb. Mm. recorded for you. Um, we are going to get into our devotional, which comes from 1 Peter 4. Do you have your tea ready? Go ahead and make that tea. Pause the video if you haven't made tea, because the idea here is we're supposed to be drinking tea together. And my tea is one of my favorites, Earl Grey de la Creme. There's a difference. I don't know what they do to the tea to make it the creme thing, but I've noticed that if I don't have the De La Creme Earl Grey, and I only have an Earl Grey tea bag, if I put a little bit of vanilla on my tea bag, like an extract, it really makes it kind of the same. So maybe there's something vanilla they do to it. I really don't know, but it's good. And my sister and brother-in-law gave this to me for my birthday uh, last year. So, enjoying that. Um, hope you're enjoying your tea. Let us begin reading verses 10 and 11, continuing on from where we were last week. As each one has received a special gift, employ it in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Whoever speaks is to do so as one who is speaking the utterances of God. Whoever serves is to do so as one who is serving by the strength which God supplies so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belongs the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Ooh, this is the end of a paragraph, which starts in verse 7, which we had talked about in the past. We talked about verse 7, 8, 9. Um, that paragraph started in verse 7 with, The end of all things is near. The end of all things is near. Anything that we do as believers should be done in the light of eternity, remembering that Jesus is coming back to take us home, or that we will pass away and we will be with him. Um, either way, the, our approaching end is near. We, life on earth is short, and everything we do, we really want to do to the glory of God. The Bible says that, our righteousness, our righteousness, is as filthy rags. There's nothing in ourselves that makes us good enough to be with the Lord. There's nothing in us that makes us fit for heaven, except that Jesus died to pay the price for our sins. And if we trust and believe him for that, and turn to him and follow him, trusting that his blood pays the price for our sins, then we are righteous before God because of Jesus Christ, not because of anything we've done. After that, everything that we do, we need to do in light of what God has already done for us. I mean, you, you, want, to, you want to serve him and do right, and you still mess up sometimes, but his blood covers that, and it's, it's grace. It's God's grace, and that is something to be so thankful for. Um, and among the things that God wants us to do uh, as believers who are saved and, and now walking in Him is to keep our love fervent for one another. Fervent, what a word. Sounds like it's something to really take pretty serious, you know? And maybe sometimes it can even be hard and we just have to really do it. <sighs> Convicting for me. Um, it's to be hospitable to one another without complaint. And it says in what we're highlighting today, as each one has received a special gift, employ it in serving one another as good 
stewards of the manifold grace of God. It's something God has graced each of us with our set of um, gifts that he's given us, like an ability to speak or an ability to um, have compassion on other people or, or whatever it is that's just, you know, you're good at knowing when you look at somebody that they need an encouraging word and what to say or whatever gifting God has given you these gifts were to serve him with and give all the glory to God because in ourselves there's nothing we have to offer. We only have this stuff to offer because he gifted us with salvation through Jesus and he gifted us with gifts that we can use to glorify him here on earth. And I just, oh, that is very helpful to me. I know that I just shared that with you but there but I could really read this over and over again and and just take it in because there's so much to learn and so much to be corrected about when I look at myself and realize I could do a lot better so I hope it blessed you the same and I hope you have a great week meditating on first Peter 4 and let's just go ahead and say 7 through 11 because the whole thing is a paragraph together it's a good nugget I hope it really blesses you before we go let me show you our mini vlog and this is our weekend it's Friday night we had snow last night and um, it's fine to drive right now but I heard that we're gonna be getting more snow so uh, possibly a lot of snow this weekend so now we're ready with some groceries So here I sit in the messiness of the living room with my um, tea here. I got an order for Lathers for Life. Somebody ordered three bars of soap, including this lovely ocean breeze, which is one of my favorite. I am so proud of the way it turned out. And it smells good too. Then they got honeysuckle and clean cotton. So I'm going to get that packed up now. Don't eat the yellow snow, they say. There it is, some yellow snow on that lump. Hi, handsome. You talking to me? I sure am. <laughs> So this right, is right back at you. I, well, it's not handsome. Uh, <laughs> you can't do it that one. The city nature trail, right next to the highway. You sort of pretend like you're out in nature. Come on. Show me if the bridge is safe or not. Go, Samuel. Test it out for mommy. The men folk need to make sure <laughs> the women are safe. <laughs> Go ahead and check for me. Oh, good. Okay. I'll come across. picnic spot. Will this do? We got done with our hike and then we went around town um, first picking up some uh, frozen veggies I need to pick up because I want to make some cheese sticks tonight with them and um, later uh, we were looking for donuts. <laughs> That's what my husband wanted and we did not find the donuts he was looking for but we ran into more than one person that we're really glad we ran into. So. That was pretty cool. Um, and uh, now I'm making chicken. I I got 10 in a pack for, they come out to about 57 cents per chicken thigh. Is that a good price? Tell me in the comments below if you think that's a good price and how much you would pay for chicken thighs the most and the least. Um, and if you have suggestions for a great deal. 
Um, because uh, last year, my goal was, maybe it was last year or the year before, my goal was to be frugal, very frugal with the groceries. But this year, it's more about health. Now I'm trying to bring the two together. Oh, look, I'm holding the camera cap. <laughs> so now I'm just learning how to use all the different parts of the chicken and other vegetables and things and try to have no waste and still eat healthy. This is a and cheese bread made with cauliflower. Yum! What do you think? Wow. There's the broth that came out of boiling five of the chicken thigh skins and putting the drippings from the baked chicken in it with these six uh, chicken thighs left over after dinner. So I can make at least a meal with that and then of course the chicken broth makes soup. So that's cool. So the mini vlog didn't really end there. It turns out that the big snow didn't really come until Sunday at one o'clock. We started getting snow and it came and came and came and came. And by the next morning, we had snow. Now this is a real snow here. This is a snow. This is Monday morning. Oh no, Monday day. We've got snow. Hey, you ready to get this up the hill? Yeah. Oh, you want me to drag you up the hill? Yeah. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Is that how it works? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Yes, this is an extension cord tied to the end here. Ugh. Ah! Uh, and I'm filming. All right, so I pulled you up the hill. <laughs> we haven't... There we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Get set! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and I went flying down the hill on my feet. <laughs> Alright, that was fun, huh? <laughs> but you missed your other trail. The other trail was right there. Oh, you sound a little too cold. Maybe we should go inside. Okay, I'll slide with you once and then we'll go inside. So that's all for a cup of tea with Shauna Marie this week. Looking forward to seeing you soon. See you next Thursday.